read for Virgo. Hey Virgo, how are you? Hold your ears, let's tap into this energy. Come through spirit for Virgo. We're going to do a bonus read. Okay. Let's see if it changes. Let's see if it stayed the same. Spirit come through for Virgo. Virgo, this is a bonus read for you. I want to thank you for all your support, all your beautiful donations, all your beautiful comments. Thank you for riding with me. Thank you for helping my channel grow. You guys are awesome. Greatly appreciate you. This is a bonus read for you to see what else we can get. What other messages can we get for Virgo Spirit come through? This is a back-to-back -back with Virgo read. This is a bonus read for Virgo. Okay, what else is coming through? Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First position you have is we have the Five of Cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. mm, we got the Nine of Cups. Okay. We have Temperance. All right, and we have the Six of Wands, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have the Moon card, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Justice card, okay? Mm-hmm. We have the world card. Mm -hmm. And we have the four of cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spirit come through. Let's see what we got here. Alrighty. Alright. Spirit come through. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like you guys have, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, you have one, two, three, four, four major cons, is that about right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, four major cons, we would definitely take it, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, mm, five major arcanas. You have the lovers. <sighs> Virgo, this is someone that you, that have strong feelings for you, and you got strong feelings for them. You guys love each other, okay? No matter how much you deny it, no matter how much this person's a thorn in your side, whatever you guys are going through, the love is still there, okay? Yeah. Yeah, some of you are in a commitment with this person, or this person wants a commitment with you, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever you're with, you guys are in love, okay? Whoever you're in this commitment with, this is commitment, this is marriage, this is long-term commitment. You guys are really much, very much in love, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like you're coming out of some sort of stuck energy because of this new love or this new relationship or this current relationship, okay? You guys may have been stuck, it wasn't going anywhere, no progress. It looks like you guys are coming out of that stuck energy, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. You got the four swords in reverse. You're ready to communicate or take action. Mm -hmm. Some of you are feeling restless. You need some action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got moving forward. All right. Looks like you guys are going to come back together to move forward. Okay. In this union with one another. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That first position, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
First position, we got the Five of Cups. Somebody's definitely missing you here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's missing you because you walked away from them or something like that. They can't stop thinking about you. This is somebody who thinks about you a great deal, okay? Yeah, you. It's, it's, this is like a continuation of the last Virgo read. You, they're still missing you, okay? And this could be a lover. This could be family and friends. This could be foe, okay? Somebody is missing your energy. Somebody wants back in. This is somebody you turned your back on. You walked away. You wasn't happy with their with the relationship. You wasn't happy with the connection with this person. Okay, this person misses you a great deal since you walked away. Okay, they think about you all the time. You might be thinking about them. You might you might be thinking about them as well. You might feel their energy or something like that. You may feel them missing you. Okay, this person wants to reconcile with you. Okay, you have the nine of cups. They want to give you a wish fulfillment. They want to do right by you okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this person loves you and you love them whoever this uh, this is okay yeah love is in the air you guys love each other very much you're coming out of this stuck energy and you're definitely coming out of this um uh com non-communication energy you're ready to start communicating you're ready to open up you're ready to let uh to voice your opinion let the cards out on the table so to speak okay yeah we got temperance again reconciliation this is a whole new different deck but it's the, the spread is very similar okay you definitely got somebody who wants to come back in and reconcile with you okay yeah this this person wants to make amends with you okay this is someone that feels that um they they want you to have more patience with them they they're definitely going to try to get it right with you okay you're definitely getting this person's attention this person is thinking about you quite often okay yeah, they could be watching you. They could be driving past your house, going past your job, um, calling your mom, calling your brother, calling your sister, calling your dad. This person is trying to get in touch with you. They're trying to get back in your good graces, okay? We have the moon card, okay? This is secrets, and the secret is that they want you back, okay? They want reconciliation with you. They want evil, equal give and take. They want to treat you right. They want to do right by you. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra here, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you could be dealing with a, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, okay? You definitely could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio with those cups of energy. Lots of emotions here. Lots of emotions. A strong Sagittarius as well. Okay, with Wands, we have the Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. However you look at it, somebody wants to come in and reconcile with you. They want they want to get back in your good graces, okay? This person is ready to invest in you. They want to give, give you equal give and take. They want balance with you, okay? They want to do right by you. They they feel they owe you an apology and they're ready to give it to you and treat you accordingly, okay? They're ready to invest in you. This person is, at the beginning, they might, you know, may have been one-sided energy. They wasn't treating you right. Well, now they're ready to give you. They're ready to give you every goddamn thing they got. They're ready to be fair to you, treat you fairly. You got the justice card. They might have been getting a great deal of bad luck or karma due to whatever it is that you guys been through, okay? Because this is a lot of changing that's going on in this relationship. Uh-huh. Virgo, you have changed and still have your person okay you have done some growing and still have your person okay it's just a whatever was whatever was the distraction or the unbalance here okay this needs to be corrected okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you're not going to have anything to say to them okay mm -hmm. this is why you're leaving because something wasn't fair something wasn't balanced okay with the justice guards comes out when it's been some sort of injustice somebody wasn't treating you right somebody wasn't treating you fairly okay uh-huh treating you like a stepchild treating you like you didn't matter disregarding you disrespecting you you know um just totally taking advantage of your energy or something like that. Well, that's that's coming that's coming to an end. We have something coming full circle. This is endings and beginnings. That's coming to an end. Okay, whoever was doing this to you, they are realizing that they cannot do that to you, or you, at the very least, that you're not going to tolerate it. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You might have felt this person didn't want you. You might have felt that you wasn't loved by these people. You might have felt that you know why am I a part of this family or why am I with this person who's supposed to love me? Why do I keep dealing with people that's supposed to love me? me but they keep hurting me they don't love me they don't want me you know you might have felt this way you might have felt rejected or felt unwanted or something like that but it's the furthest thing from the truth they do want you they do love you okay they love language just sucks okay they don't know how to treat you fairly they, they didn't know how to treat you fairly they don't know how to respect you okay they might have a little envious towards you they might be a little jealous towards you or something like that they might really get off on mistreating you you know treating you like you don't matter or treating you uh like you know 
like you're some sort of stepchild, like, you know, that they don't have to invest in you or something like that. They don't have to make you feel special or something like that. You might be dealing with people that feel that you already get this kind of treatment, okay? Because you do get a lot of attention, okay? You might be dealing with people who feels that you get enough attention or you get enough accolades or you get enough blessings. I'm not going to give them no more. They already get enough. You know, I'm not going to treat them special. They already, their head is already big or something like that. Who the hell is these people to even feel like that about you or something like that? You know, it's it's... It's like uh, they don't want you to, it's like they don't want to treat you good because you already got good. They don't want to treat you fairly because, you know, you already do good or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know where this energy is coming from. This is a bonus read and it's the same freaking energy. Okay. But the difference here, it's like your absence mm -hmm, is making their heart grow fonder. Okay. Yeah, them not talking to you, them not seeing you, they're now missing you, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they want to be back into your world. They want to be back into your good graces. Okay, it does look like to treat you fairly. It does look like to, to do right by you, okay? It does look like that. They're ready to invest every goddamn thing they got, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, something has changed here. This is This is that unstoppable change. This is a huge change that's coming in, okay? All right? This person don't want to miss out on whatever it is that you, you got going on, okay? Whatever blessings is coming in for you, whatever changes is coming in for you, somebody don't want to miss out on that, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody wants to uh, enjoy life with you or enjoy you with you or something like that. Somebody needs your energy, point blank, period, okay? They were happy with you. They were content with you, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to give you your, full, your wish fulfillment. Somebody wants to make you happy. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to treat you right. Okay, they might have witnessed the family disregard you, treat you like a stepchild, treat you like a foster child. They might have seen the family mistreat you your whole life, and now they want to do right by you. They might support you. They might be taken up for you or something like that. They might have saw mom and dad, you know, have favoritism over you and other kids or something like that. They might have witnessed a lot of mistreatment towards you, okay? And now they want to come back and they want to reconcile, okay? You, they, you definitely have their attention now, and this could be multiple people, okay? This could be many people, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This could be many people. Okay. One particular person is keeping it a secret that they want you back. What they do. They think about you all the time. Somebody has too much pride and ego. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody has a lot of pride and ego. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Libra. Mm-hmm. Could be an Aquarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be a Gemini. Somebody has too much pride and ego. They need to put their pride down, okay? Mm -hmm. Because they love you very much and they don't feel, they don't feel good about this, with, about the situation or whatever went down between you two. Whatever made you leave them alone. Whatever made you cut them off, okay? They're missing you and they don't feel good about their behavior or what caused this, this uh, connection to uh, disconnect, okay? Whatever it is. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get, okay? Come through spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other messages do you have? This is a Virgo bonus read. Whatever messages do you have for Virgo? Spirit come through. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. the death card changed. There's a lot of changes going on here, Virgo. Okay, spiritual transformation, renewal, sudden change. Yeah, you're going through some sort of enlightenment, some sort of growth. Yes, transformation. A lot has been changing in your life. You know, you guys are definitely tapping more into your energy. Okay, you're going through your spiritual growth. You're listening to your voice within instead of the outer voices. You're looking to the listening to the inner voices. Yeah, you have a whole new attitude. You want to do right by you. You want to do right for you, okay? If these people wasn't doing treating you right and doing right by you, you have a you have made a vow to do right by you, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You hit a lot of people with goodbye. You got the tower, okay? You cut a lot of energies off, okay? That was no longer serving you or something like that. And ever since then, you've been very happy. You got the sunny day, okay? Optimism leads to success, okay? Sunday, daytime, summer. You're going, you're going in the right direction, okay? Yeah, you're going in the right direction, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're making a lot of moves, too. You're getting your wish fulfillment, okay? You're making a lot of moves, all right? You're happy, you're content, okay? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High priestess energy. Very, you guys are very intuitive, very psychic. You're listening to your vibes. You listen to your energies. Okay, many of you are definitely on a higher vibration than others. Okay, mm -hmm. this is why you're going to so much jealousy. You're going to so much envy. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we got the judgment here. Okay, yeah, you got people judging themselves. You got people trying to. Uh, Fix that, fix their behavior with you, or fix some some sort of action with you, because spirit has brought this connection to a halt. Okay, mm -hmm. things has went stagnant between you and them, and these people went back in. Okay, whoever they may be, a lover, sister, brother, cousin, family, friends, foe. Okay. All right, this could be somebody that you know you used to be with all the time. Y'all was boom coon buddies or something like that. It don't have to be a lover, okay? Some of you don't have nobody. I understand that. This could be a family. This could be a friend, okay? This could be somebody that you was once very, very cool with. Yeah, for some of you, this was somebody you was in a relationship with, an int uh, intimate relationship with, with that hierophant, okay? Justice card. I swear, just like the other read, Justice card comes out again, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got justice with justice. Look at this. Okay. All right. Virgo. Whoever did you guys wrong, okay? Whoever backbited you, whoever was talking shit about you, whoever disrespected you, took your kindness for a weakness, whoever you was helping, they didn't appreciate in nothing that you did for them, and they was talking shit behind your back or trying to make people think, you know, ill will about you or something like that, they're going to get a great deal of karma or they already have, okay? This is why they're coming back and trying to have some sort of relationship with you, okay? Some of them, their intentions are not good. They're only coming back to to see what more they can, you know, back betray you on or backstab you about, okay? Because they can't get over the jealousy over you. They just can't, okay? Now, some of you Virgos are doing this to other people, okay? It's either, the energy goes either way. Or either it's being done to you or you're doing it to them, okay? And for those of you that's doing it to other people, you must do your shadow work, okay? This is your problem, not theirs, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is a self esteem problem for this for whoever this energy is, okay? And it looks like it's being done to you, Virgo, okay? They they just they just don't Okay, they don't like the way you move. They don't like the way you do things. Okay, and it's not that you're doing it wrong. You're just doing it in your own your own special way, your own your own style, your own finesse. You're just trying to make it like everybody else, but somebody is threatened by it or somebody is intimidated by it. It's like you're more disciplined than others, okay? You're more focused or something like that. Okay, and, and it looks like that you're... The lies that people have been telling on you, you're proving people wrong, Okay. And that's what they're really upset about, okay? We got the world card. A whole new world is coming in for you right next to the world card. Can you believe how this is mimicking? This is the same card that's coming out again. Spirit come through. This is amazing. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Spirit come through. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You got the sun. You guys are in a very happy place, okay? Very happy place. Things are changing for you. A great deal of changes is coming in for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We also got in times of need, help will come, hardship, loss, sadness, heartbreak. You're strong enough to face it all, okay? Yeah, in times of need, you handle it yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. You suffer in silence. You don't even let anybody know what you're going through. Okay? You got an attitude of this too shall pass, and it normally does. Okay? Yeah. You can handle your own problems on your own. You're, like, really good at it or something like that. If you do stress out, you stress out in silence. You just don't, you don't let nobody know what you're going through. And it always looks like you're doing so well. This is why they're so envious of you. They're envious of your strength. They're envious of your know-how. Okay? You, you just make it look easy. Okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they only want to come back to see what else they can find out about you, okay? As for somebody, you give them life. For somebody, you, you, you show them how it's done or something like that. It's like they need your energy. Watch these energy vampires, okay? Some of them want to come back just to, you know, to get some more encouragement from you. To, to find out how to do things, to, you know, copy off of you, okay? And it could be very simple. If you wear your hair in a ponytail, they want a ponytail, okay? If you wear braids, they want to wear braids, okay? If you're going to school to get a degree, they want to go to school to get a degree, okay? 
If you're taking a vacation, they want to take a vacation. You know, shit like that. They just want to do what you do. Okay? Nobody got time. This is just juvenile. Okay? I seriously can't stop thinking about you. All right? Yeah, some of them have good motives, but some of them have motives to find out what you're doing. Some of them are just in your business. Some of you guys work from at home, okay? You'd rather work from at home because you run into a lot of fuck shit in the workplace, okay? Uh-huh. Just run into a lot of nonsense. People always put your name and shit or something like that. You get attacked a lot at work. You're too good. You're too stylish. You stand offish. You stay, you stay to yourself trying to eliminate all the fuckery, okay? Yeah. Work at home twice came out. Okay? Yeah. All right. For some of you who's not working at home, you're seriously thinking about it. Okay? This is what you want to do. You're tired of the workforce. You hate to go to work. Some of you pull up at work and your stomach start hurting. You got to do a serious prayer before you walk in there. Uh-huh. You clean your energy all the time when you leave there. Yeah, you really have to consider something else. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of you have a Gemini that's seriously thinking about you right now. Okay? Gemini's on their, they got you on their mind, or you're thinking about them. Okay, we got some healing hands. Somebody misses your healing energy again. Okay, some of you are trying to get pregnant. It looks like you will. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you want a baby. All right. Some of you want a child, at least one. All right. For those of you who don't have children. Okay. Not to worry. You're going to get it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start taking your vitamins and iron now, especially if you're female energy. Just start taking them now. All right. Take your prenatals early. All right. Looks like some of you are moving. All right. You're about to move into your new house or something like that. You might have just went to closing. You might have just found the house or something like that. You're ready to get you a mortgage or something like that. Something is coming. Financial abundance is coming in for you too. Okay. A great deal of finance. Okay. You got some disrespect and respect. Choose wisely. What you're going to tolerate? You're going to keep tolerating the disrespect from your family and friends and your lovers? Or you're going to demand respect? Okay. Uh-huh. This is the premise of this read right here. This is why people is coming back. Okay. Because you have cut a lot of people off that thought they was going to disrespect you. Uh-huh. And you're teaching them that I won't tolerate nothing but respect. I I will never tolerate disrespect. Okay? Not ever. Okay? Your ancestors won't let you. Okay? These people that keep disrespecting you, thinking that they could, you know, backbiting, talking shit about you or something like that, but smiling in your face, a lot of that is happening for many of you. And it's, I'm sad to say that most of it is coming from your own family. People that were supposed to love you. Some of you got this from a Libra that's supposed to love you. And that could be a family member. That could be a lover. Okay? Well, it looks like you got a visitor coming. Somebody's going to come and see you. Somebody might surprise you with the visit. It's going to be a lovely surprise. You're going to be glad they came. You guys are going to be able to mend something, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, some of you have an inheritance coming, okay? Somebody's going to leave you some money. You're going to hear that some money was left for you or something like that, okay? Pay attention to your ancestral altar. Light light your candles. Make sure you keep it clean. Give them some fresh water and, and talk to them. Thank them, you know, thank them for things that they're doing for you or things like uh, like that. Acknowledge them, Okay. Don't just set it up and walk away from it. Maintain it, okay? Mm-hmm. Spoil them. Turn some music on for them. Light a cigar for them. Pour some rum for them. You know, just spoil them, okay? Just acknowledge that altar. Some of you guys uh, have uh, shamanic energy in you. Uh, you got some sort of... Medicine woman, medicine man, relatives, ancestors, okay? This is why you have such a healing hand yourself, okay? It was passed down to you. Yeah, you guys are light workers, okay? And this is another reason why you're attacked all the time, too. Trust your intuition, all right? Trust your intuition, all right? Mm -hmm. Some of you definitely need to learn how to love yourself. Spirit definitely want that message to get out there. You definitely got to learn to make yourself a priority, okay? Your ancestors is big on that, too. They really want you to see who you are. These people is coming over. Mm hmm. Whoever that wants to see you. Yeah, we got to have it. You got a visitor coming. Yeah, they're coming over. Somebody wants to come over to see you. OK, they can't take it anymore. They got to talk to you. They want to see you. They just want to they want to like they want to make an amends with you. They don't want this to go on anymore. OK, uh huh. Yeah. Can you give me another chance? Do you have it? Okay, this person wants back into your life. They miss you. They want to talk to you or something like that. All right. Again, your ancestors definitely want you to, to pay them more mind. Pay them some more mind, okay? Make sure you put that rum there. You see the rum, the coffee, a little sweet bread or cake, some fruit. All right. 
You don't have to leave it there. And if you like it, worried about, you know, something, just cover it with some saran wrap or something. You know, you could just sit it in front of them. You don't have to leave it there long. Okay. You, they'll let you know when you can pick it up. All right. All right. This is a kindred soul who wants to come back in towards you. This is somebody who miss you dearly. It's like they need you. They need your energy. They need to talk to you. Okay. You heal them. All right. You make them feel better. They heal you. It's like y'all need each other's energy. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody just needs to learn how to treat you. They need to learn how to respect you. Okay. This is somebody who thinks they can keep hurting you and you won't know about it or you won't find out about it or something like that. And when you do find out about it, you're not supposed to feel some kind of way. You're not supposed to talk about it. Get the freak out of here, okay? Uh-huh. This is what you told them, too. You said, nope, bye-bye. All right? Ancestors left you everything that you need. Call on them, all right? You could take this to your ancestors, you know. You could talk it over with them. Ask them to fix it for you, okay? If you don't know, if you don't have the... The energy anymore to deal with these people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Light worker energy. You got the energy. You just really might be tired of their nonsense. Okay. You might be tired of it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys have to uh, definitely um, acknowledge your ancestors a little bit more. Okay. They want your attention. Especially for those of you who's been burning your ancestral money. Okay. You might be getting a huge thank you from them soon, okay? A huge check, mm hmm A huge bonus or at your job, a nice vacation, okay? Some sort of gift is coming in for you, and you're going to be so surprised, okay? It's going to come in from the damnedest way, too. And this is how you're going to know it's from your ancestors, okay? You might fall. You might fall on a check or some shit with your name on it. Where this come from? How long I had this? How long was this in the mail basket? Mm -hmm. Something like that, okay? Okay, moving sounds. Don't tell nobody your business. Okay, this came out for the second time for you guys. Okay, you got to learn to keep your mouth shut on a lot of shit. I done told y'all before, you talk too much, you get comfortable. You get comfortable thinking that you're talking to somebody that you can trust. Okay, they don't be happy for you. I know you feel that they are, but you make them feel some kind of way. It's not that they're not happy for you. They don't have nothing good come up going in their life where they can, you know, come back with something and tell you. So you make them feel inadequate. You make them feel like they don't have something going on, okay? These these people may, may be married and unhappy or something like that. You might be single, got it going on, and enjoying life. This could be a Pisces that's, that's that you're going through this with, okay? Don't tell them your business because they're not happy for you, okay? They could be married. It could be a Pisces. That's two clues of who this may be to you, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We also have, what have I done, all right? All right, this is somebody you left behind, too, all right? You're just not dealing with them anymore. Damaged energy. This person could be very damaged. This person could need therapy, okay? You was their therapist. And I don't mean like they paid you. You just, you just was somebody they confided in, somebody they talked to, somebody that made them feel better. This is some unstable-ass energy, okay? They need your help or they want your help or something like that. Yeah. Whoever they're dealing with could be cheating, okay? This person could have cheated on you. However you look at it, they went back and hear me out. Can I talk to you? Can we... Can we make amends? You know, I don't I don't like not speaking to you. I don't like I hate when you're not speaking to me. Some shit like that. This is somebody who loves you and went back in. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's cheating. Somebody's cheating. Cheating came up twice. Somebody, you know, is cheating Virgo. OK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheating. But they still trying to hold on. OK. Somebody still trying might be still trying to hold on to you or they're still trying to hold on to the situation that they're in, although they're, they're ruining it. OK, Virgo, you're going to hear that they need you or they miss you. Or they want to hang out with you again. They want to be friends with you again or something like that. OK, yeah, somebody's just living foul. Somebody's living foul. Somebody is living foul. We got mentally unstable to Lord have mercy. Yeah, we got a big ass liar too. All right, somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's not being honest here. Okay. Mhm. Mm yeah. Somebody don't give up the honesty. Mm -mm. Somebody's just not being honest. Mm mm. Somebody's cheating. Uh huh. This could be a friend. 
Could be a relative. Could be a lover. All right. Spirit come through. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. Okay, this is somebody who thinks that you would never want to talk to them again. This is somebody who thinks that you're never going. They must have really betrayed you. They must have really screwed up this time because they don't they don't even have hope that you're going to forgive them. Okay. All right. Some of them do and some of them don't. I guess the one that's coming to visit you, they're going to surprise you with a visit. They're still holding on to hope. But somebody is like wondering, are you really done with them or something like that? Okay. Somebody is really scared or nervous or something like that. We have anchor, stability, grounding, hope, safety, resolve. Okay, steadfastness. Somebody's really holding on, though. Somebody is, huh? Somebody clinging on, honey. Yeah, somebody's just gonna sit right there with you. They're gonna drop their anchor and they ain't going nowhere. Okay. Yeah, some of them. Some of them feel like you know they screwed up totally, and some of them feel like uh, uh, uh you gonna. I'm gonna make you keep me. I'm gonna make you take me. Take me. Could be a twin flame connection. That just won't take no for an answer, even though they done screwed up so many times that they know they don't have a chance with you. Okay? Uh -huh. This is somebody who just can't do right, but they just can't let you go either. Oh, my goodness. Ay, 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 Virgo. This shit is crazy. Okay? This person could have been a heart collector. This person could have been, you know, somebody who thought they was a lover. Uh -huh. And they ran into you and... and... <laughs> now they they don't know if they're coming or going okay this could have been somebody who thought they was a player uh-huh and it backfired they got played on or some fuck shit like that okay lost on this journey yeah yeah somebody's lost on this journey mm -hmm. they thought that they can do the same old things they that they used to do to others but they realizing that they can't do that to you okay mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah this person has a trick up their sleeve mm-hmm let's see what this says okay okay cunning sly resourceful calculating crafty shrewd deception ingenuous okay somebody thinks that they can outsmart you or something like that okay this person might try to use some sort of they might use their money to get back into your good graces or or their whatever they have like you know their name or their money or their position in life or something they might try to use something Okay, to win you back over. They're going to play hardball, okay? They're going to make you a offer you can't refuse or some fuck shit like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your heart is locked down. You have closed your heart up. You don't trust love anymore. Mm -mm, you don't. We got jealousy, too. This came out again. Oh, my goodness. That never stops coming out for you guys, ever. Okay, we also have sucker for love, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of you just love the idea of love. You want love. Love, love, love is very important to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, all that is hidden will be revealed. Okay, the truth will be revealed. The truth is coming out. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. May every evil eye go blind. Okay. Uh -huh. You got a lot of people that's praying against you. Don't want you to do well. Don't want you to be happy. Don't want you to be with the one you love or some fuck shit like that. Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm. That are never going to happen. No. Some of you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening, too. You're navigating a spiritual awakening, shedding old ways for new insights and purpose. Embrace this transformative journey towards deeper self-awareness and un universal connection. This is why people are coming back at you. You're not paying them no mind. You're doing you, okay? Your energy is very light. You're on a high vibration. Yeah, you're not even missing them. You're not. You, you, the only reason why you're thinking about them because you feel them thinking about you, Okay? Yeah, you're going through some sort of transformation here. You're doing you. You're doing what you're supposed to do, okay? These people come around you so they can get elevated, so they can grow, so they can learn from you, okay? And then when you try to show them something, they get mad at you or something like that, okay? We got blessings coming in. Look at that. Your cuff runneth over. Blessings is coming in. We also have the death card. There's change, okay? And we got union. Yeah, somebody wants back with you, Virgo. So here they come. And again, this could be lovers. This could be family. This could be friends. They're not done with you. Here they come. I hope you enjoyed this read. I certainly enjoy bringing it to you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Talk to you soon. Ashe.